Hey guys, it's Bricktator here again, this time with another 2011 release, Lego Architecture Set. This is the Burj Khalifa, or sometimes known as the Burj Dubai, in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. This is recommended ages 12 plus, set number 21008, and it has 208 pieces. And it's part of the Landmark series, designed by Adam Breed Tucker. And if you can still find this on store shelves, it is around a $25 set. And that's pretty good. It's a better value than most architecture sets, I'll tell you that. But, uh, first, we'll go over the instruction booklet, which is it's pretty thick. It's thicker than the Empire State Building and Willis Tower. It's definitely thicker than those. And it is binded with the uh, staples. It's not quite big enough to be um, binded like without staples. Kind of like a book, like the $50 and up sets that you'll see. But this, this set, along with all the architecture sets, comes with little bio information and stuff like that, showing a bunch of pictures of the Burj Khalifa being built and the finished product, which looks really, really nice. And in case y'all didn't know, this is currently the tallest building, or not, not just building, the tallest structure the tallest man-made structure ever and in the world right now and it's been that way since it was completed and topped off 2010 and unlike the Empire State Building Willis Tower it it gets quite a bit more than just one page you know, they give you well that's one two three four five six seven eight pages no, nine nine pages to describe the bio, the history, the construction, the ins inspiration of the entire building, which is fitting. You know, this is the tallest building in the world, so it's it's a, it's a big deal. It's basically half a mile tall. So that may not sound like much, but trust me, stand next to it, <laughs> then you'll understand how tall it is. I, I, not that I have, but I would love to. Can't. It was one of the things I want to do someday for sure. And then it gets right into the build, which I will definitely talk more about later. Now next, here's the box. As with all architecture sets, real nice box. And all these stats right there, and the image there, and the name, and location right there. And it's got a profile picture and Adam Reed Tucker's signature. And this is this this is neat. It's got. I don't know what you call that, but it's each layer of the set is depicted for you right here. Just it, as you would put down all the layers. Of course, that's not how it's actually built, but nonetheless, it looks really cool. And here on the back, you get a uh, light to dark image just to make it look cool. And the stats at a 3.8 inches wide, which is pretty standard really, and it's 10.9 inches tall, which is, it's, it puts that at one of the tallest architecture sets released to date. And you can see the stats there, at a whopping 2,716 feet. 2,716 feet, that's insane. Wow. <laughs> and from what I said earlier about being the tallest structure is that before this the tallest um, man-made structure was the radio mast KVLY I think it was radio mast in North Dakota that thing is like 2500 feet tall and before that it was the Warsaw radio mast at what I think going on 3000 feet tall but I mean those weren't buildings because you can't live in them they're radio masts, radio towers, but this thing is even taller than any of those were. So th this is taller than any structure that has ever been, ever. Which is, it's really something, really, really something. But there's the box for you. And now we'll go over the actual model itself. Which, oh, one more thing in the box. You know, like some of the architecture sets, whenever you open the box, It'll say, enjoy your building experience. This one does not. And for a good reason. 
you're probably not going to enjoy this building experience. And I'll tell you why. Because it comes with 208 pieces. And if you look in the parts inventory, 112 of those 208 are the one by one cylinders. That's what gives it its kind of curved shape, which is good. That's what it looks like. That it's faithful to the design of the real building. But I'll tell you right now, this set is not very fun to build because it's just making those cylindrical modules over and over and over again. You can see it tells you to put four on top of each other seven times. And that's not it. it, it it's so repetitive, it's not fun, but the end result is good, and that's about all you could ask for. But having said that, here's the model. And of course, printed tile, 1x8 tile, smooth tile, Burj Khalifa, real nice. And of course, the stand for this one is a bit bigger than most to facilitate its footprint. And if you're not careful with this thing, this thing will kind of start falling apart in you because he, here are all the cylinders all these things um, excuse me are built like in the very beginning it tells you to put like seven or eight of them on top of each other like six times it, this 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 one will take you long longer than most of the landmark series sets will and it's it's pretty sturdy because even even though these outside ones are kind of just sitting there to be knocked off, they are they got pins inside them to kind of hold them together. So that's that's nice. I like that. I mean, they tried to make this thing a little sturdier, and it's got a propeller, like a triangle piece right there to kind of hold the middle of it. But everything else up here is just moving around and waiting to be misaligned. But if you display it like it should be displayed, then you won't have to worry about that. There's its front view, and I, I like I like the building's design, like the real thing, because it's just stepped up like this. This one's shorter than that one. This one's it. I I just it looks good. Like I like how this building isn't just like a rectangular prism just sitting there, like a lot of buildings are. It, it's unique. There's no other building like this. So I I really like it for that, and that's a big reason why I got this set, because this is one of my favorite buildings. To be honest with you, it really is. Of course, obviously, no figures. Architecture set. Probably shouldn't have to say that. But, um, if, if you can still find this set, I would recommend picking it up if you can sit through the build. <laughs> yeah. But I found this at a Barnes & Noble. If, I don't know if you're Barnes & Noble, where you all live. has a architecture kiosk like mine does, but that's where I got this one. And that's probably your best bet to find it. If you get lucky, you might find it in Toys R Us, but in the next few years, it's going to become increasingly rare and probably disappear from store shelves for good here before too long. And online will be the only place you can find it. And at 208 pieces at a starting price, retail price of $25, you'll be hard pressed to find this under 40 or 50. But if you like architecture and you want to con and you want to um, collect all of them, don't hesitate to pick this up. It looks really, really good. Despite the build, the final product is very, very good. That's it for this review. Just watch my channel for dozens more of LEGO Architecture, LEGO Star Wars, Halo Mega Bloks, and Call of Duty Mega Bloks reviews, plus a few custom builds coming out soon. I will talk to you all later.